Hi, and welcome to Arts Writing Prep's video feedback service. Okay, now um, this is um, the question um, for the essay we're going to be analysing. Um, popular, popular events like the Football World Cup and other international sporting occasions are essential in easing international tensions and releasing patriotic emotions in a safe way. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So, um, the first thing I want everyone to notice is that we are given two points here. We are given sporting occasions are essential in easing international tensions and releasing patriotic emotions in a safe way. So, we're not given one point. We're actually given two points that we have to agree or disagree. Now, normally, um, if someone's aiming for, you know, band seven or above, um, the normal advice is to take a look at both sides of the argument, you know, to take a look at, you know, um, those who, you know, at both sides, uh, agreeing and, and disagreeing. So even if you uh, agree, we're going to take a look at the other side. If we disagree, we're going to take a look at the side of those who agree. But with this question here, because we have two ideas that we have to agree or disagree with, um, it would be very difficult to take a look at both sides of, of both points. So it would be a very, very long essay if we tried to do that. It would at least be in the 500 word range. So I wouldn't really uh, recommend that anyone uh, took an approach where they took a look at both sides for both points. Now, uh, let's take a look at the introduction. Um, so we had the two points, uh, easing international tension and releasing patriotic emotions in a safe way. Right, so um, what the candidates are expected to do here is to rephrase this statement, okay, um, using different words and, you know, grammatical structures. And then in the introduction to state your position, you know, whether you agree or disagree with, with the statement. Now, one thing that is important to understand is that this statement here isn't given as a fact because they're giving us the statement and then they're asking us to what extent we agree or disagree with it. So automatically we should know that this isn't a fact given to us as a fact, okay? It's just an idea or an opinion. Now, if you notice that in the essay, the statement was given as a fact. So for any country, international tournaments like football or cricket World Cups play a significant role by making ties stronger with other countries. These famous sporting events are guarded platforms for people to show their patriotism. I completely agree with the above context and will prove my stance in this essay. So, um, this uh, candidate actually wrote this statement, well, reworded it as a, as a fact. Okay, so um, firstly, when you're given a statement and you're asked if you agree with it or if you disagree with it, it's probably the best thing to do is to introduce it as, uh, you know, um, something that is believed. So you could start off with, it is believed by many or it is believed by some that for any country um, and, and so on and so on. Okay, now let's see how um, uh, this uh, introduction was rephrased. So for any country, international tournaments like football or cricket World Cups play should be a significant role by making ties, maybe not strong, but uh, stronger, okay, with other countries. So this is the first part. These sporting, uh, these famous sporting events are guarded platforms 
for people to show their patriotism. Okay. Um, so also we have that it is uh, a safe place. Uh, sorry. Um, it's an essential uh, in easing international tensions and releasing patriotic emotions in a safe way. Now, the first thing I would warn all IELTS candidates of is to try and to keep the statements given this, you know, as similar as possible. We want to reword the statement, but we don't want to, you know, change the meaning in any way. So here it said it's a safe way to release patriotic emotions. And this candidate wrote, are guided, uh, guarded platforms for people to show their patriotism. So I'll try and keep the statement, you know, as similar a, as possible, because when we play around with the words and we might change it a little bit, we could change the whole focus of the essay. Now, let's move on to the, the position. Um, I completely agree. So, when we say we completely agree, it means that, you know, we do not have any problem whatsoever with the statements, with the statements given in the question. So, we are in 100% agreement that it makes ties stronger with other countries, and it is a safe platform uh, to show patriotism and so on. And then here we have with the above context. Uh, to be honest, this sounds like a strange phrase. Uh, I haven't uh, seen this one before, so I wouldn't um, uh, use a phrase like this. And will prove my stance in this essay. So automatically, uh, we expect in this essay, uh, the candidate to uh, support the two points made within uh, the introduction. Okay, um, let's move on to body paragraph number one. So, body paragraph number one, there are a few cons, should be a few, because few means something is not many, uh, or, uh, you know, not many, but in a negative, in a negative way. So it has some kind of negative connotation when we say few. So here we want to say a few cons. Now, whenever uh, I'm starting off a, a, topic, sen oh, a topic sentence, um, I would never start with a, a few, because whenever you want to introduce a few uh, ideas or a few things, you have to develop them you're expected to develop the things that you introduce in your topic sentence. So, you know, it might be difficult to develop a few things, but maybe if it's like one con or, or two, um, usually, you know, you can do that within uh, one paragraph and not go over the word count. Now, usually cons is uh, paired with pros and, and cons, and it's very rare that you will see cons uh, by itself. Um, anyway, there are a few cons associated with international mega sporting events, mainly due to the formal, uh, former rivalry between countries. So here, as you see, we have a problem, because in the introduction, it says, these famous sporting events are guarded platforms for people to show their patriotism. So here we want to say, here we're saying that it's a very safe, it's a safe place. And in body paragraph number one, we're saying that there are cons uh, because of, you know, disagreements between people. Um, however, these could be handled uh, properly with management and governmental uh, policies. So, um, in the introduction, uh, we had, I completely agree that this will make uh, ties stronger with other countries. Okay, so we agree that it's going to make ties stronger. And also, we agree uh, that it's a safe place to uh, release these uh, patriotic uh, emotions and, and so on. So, when we look here, 
we find that there's some kind of contradiction and we're talking about negatives uh, of this. Um, when we are expected to uh, hear about the positives. So here we have, um, first of all, so when we say first of all, it gives us the idea that we're going to see a number of ideas that go along with it. Okay, so we're going to be introducing a list of ideas that go well together. Let's see. First of all, the host country do not welcome their competitors if they have prior conflicts. So I think what here what the candidate is trying to do is trying to explain how we could deal with these problems. Okay. This causes many problems, it should be four players, as well as their flans who want to visit the host country. So instead of talking about the positives of these international uh, games, we start to talk about the problems and how we can fix, you know, the, these uh, these um, problems. Here I have. After this, I have moreover. Now, here we said first of all, first of all. So we're introducing a list, and the first thing was the solution, and then we have moreover. So I'm expecting to read another solution, but what do I read? Moreover, at the end of an event, the situation becomes worse. So, and people start fighting. So in the introduction, we have that this is something safe and, and it's guarded and it's all positive and it strengthens the ties between people. And then when we go into body paragraph number one, we find that there are problems. Okay, so now instead of adding to one of the solutions, first of all, moreover, now we're talking about problems that could happen. Fighting over supporting their country, most unbiased people. I haven't seen unbiased people, you know, in this context uh, before. Um, also getting hurt, also gets hurt, and even lead to casualties. So it's very difficult here. Here we're saying that, you know, people are even hurt. This is not safe and this is not guarded. So here we have a problem in the position. The position means we're talking here about your opinion, your opinion that it's safe. And in body paragraph number one, the opinion uh, you know, is that it's not safe. So here we have a contradiction. And we can't say that the position is clear throughout. Okay. Also in co uh, coherence and cohesion, we need to, to see some kind of progression. We need your ideas to kind of flow in a logical and consistent manner. Now, when we say something is safe and then we go on to say that it's not safe and people get hurt and so on and so on, we can't say that there's a logical progression. So a mistake like this really um, limits the mark in task achievement and cohesion and coherence. It will limit them both to a six maximum. And this is one of the most common mistakes that I find that hold candidates back and make them, uh, you know, um, make a six and a half at the maximum they can get. So. And then we have, let's continue, lead to casualties, which ultimately leave a bad impression of their country to the whole world. So here we are not really strengthening ties. So here we are making ties worse and it's not safe. So we have a total conflict between the introduction and body paragraph number one. Let's move on to paragraph number two. Okay, however, I, as the pronoun, all should be capital. Um, however, I believe that international sports competitions are ideal for bringing countries close. So that's very strange because in the previous um, in the previous uh, body paragraph we had the opposite. There are cons, uh, people get hurt, lead to casualties, bad impression, uh, and so on. However, I believe 
that international sports competitions are ideal for bringing countries close, while showing nationalism on secure grounds. So here they get hurt, and here the grounds are secure. So there's definitely a uh, big you know, contradiction here. Firstly, as these occasions are acknowledged globally, countries also participate with broad-minded uh, sportsmanship in the singular. Um, leaving behind hostility if they have any. Okay, so if you have an idea that people uh, participate broad-mindedly and, and so on, you have to support it. You can't just state something and expect it to be um, accepted uh, you know, as a fact. If something is not um, explained, it's not coherent. Now, let's look at this. To illustrate this, so here, I'm looking for an example of how people participate uh, broad-mindedly um, in these kind of international, uh, international um, sports events. To illustrate this, human nature is peace-seeking. So this is not giving me an example of how people are, are broad-minded here. And these events help people to escape from stress between different societies. I think maybe escape from stress, I, I've never heard this, but maybe um, to reduce tension between different societies, you know, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> and focus on mind relaxing activities. So I thought this example was going to clarify, you know, uh, the first idea, but it just introduced another idea. Now, a lot of candidates um, seem to have the idea, if they write the word for example or to illustrate, it means whatever they're going to say is an example. And this is definitely uh, not true. And examples should clarify, you know, um, the ideas uh, that we have. Okay, let's uh, move on. In this way, I haven't seen this expression before, international games set practical, maybe set a practical example of maintaining world peace. So the idea wasn't really clarified, so it's very difficult to come to this conclusion. Furthermore, international contests build enthusiasm and loyalty amongst countrymen. Now, if we go back to the question, are essential in easing international tensions and releasing patriotic emotions in a safe way. And here we have international contests build enthusiasm and loyalty amongst countrymen. Here you'll notice that there's no relationship uh, with the question whatsoever. So the main idea is just totally, totally off topic. Let's continue. Everyone, everyone, everyone is singular, by the way. So this is like the wrong kind of uh, uh, subject verb agreement. Everyone unites to support their country. So as I said, nothing to do with the question. Uh, fearlessly, while realizing their duty as a moral supporter, for example, during cricket or football, World Cups, citizens come forward and start supporting campaigns for their team. So totally off topic here. In conclusion, although global sporting, sports events bring some manageable negatives with them, so some manageable negatives. Now, if I go back, we're talking about uh, negatives. We're talking about lead to casualties and, and people fighting and, you know, and so on. And people having a bad impression of other countries and, and so on. So this is the manageable negatives. I agree that there are advantages. It should be um, advantages in overall aspect. I'm not sure what this statement is uh, supposed to mean, but I think it was advantages 
overall maybe overall advantages I think of minimizing tensions between different countries so this is totally contradicting here we have people hurting each other and you know getting a bad impression of each other and here we have minimizing tensions between countries so it's like there's a total clash here between ideas it is undoubtedly a should be a safe and secure way of showing the national uh, should be national loyalty instead of the national loyalty okay so um as for uh, band marks here we have um addresses all parts of the task although some parts may be more fully covered than others conclusions may become unclear or repetitive yeah so th the conclusion here is very unclear because we kind of have a clash of ideas now whenever we have conclusions that are unclear automatically we won't be able to get a seven for cohesion and coherence because cohesion coherence says this for a seven logically organizes information and ideas there's a clear progression throughout so whenever we have a contradiction and we have a conclusion that's very unclear and you know and so on we cannot say that there's a clear progression uh, throughout so we could say there's some kind of overall uh, progression maybe within a paragraph but throughout uh, you know throughout the essay of course uh, there were too many problems um, for vocabulary lexical resources we have a sufficient range of vocabulary okay with some flexibility and precision of course we did have some strange phrases and, and so on um, may produce occasional errors in word choice spelling or word formation so we did have a few mistakes here um, I think the strength really was was grammar I think this is a very weak a very weak seven here and uses a variety of complex structures produces frequent error free sentences this is more towards the eight than a six and this is closer to a six definitely than a seven so we have task achievement six cohesion uh, coherence and cohesion uh, is a six lexical resources is a seven grammatical range and accuracy is a seven so we have an overall six and a half okay uh, thank you everyone for watching um, to get um, an essay analyzed like this um, you can click on uh, the links below um, to find out about this service again thanks for watching